Welcome to the Albert and Billy Show here on WUAT AM 1110 and Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube. We are back filming our first episode since the coronavirus pandemic and we're glad to be back with you, aren't we, Papa? The, the pandemic is not over, but we're here. Well, it, it's over enough, yes. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to see you too. I'm more, How are you? I'm happier to see Allie than well, I am to see you. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, I'm happier to see you too, Allie, than I am to see him. <laughs> so take that, Papa. All right. Tell us about these uh, cookies you ate one of. I don't know if you <clears throat> call them cookies or not. This is from Lola Sales and it's Lola's. Whatever it is, folks, it's good and it's sweet. What do you think it was? I only Allie? ate one. I only ate one. Mm -hmm. But in eating one, you want more. Yeah. I'll well, guarantee you that. Yeah. But see, I was told to bring some to Billy. <laughs> so I brought some to Billy. <laughs> and I figured Allie might want one. Or I'm going to eat one too. What do you think this, what'd you say it was? I think it looks like white chocolate cluster. Yeah, it's like on. a white chocolate cluster. That's what it looks like. They look really good, and uh, that's from It's Lola's, which is right here on Main Street. Come check out her shop right here on Main Street. And I think she's gonna be one of our sponsors again, too, so. I think she's gonna be open thing. three days a week. Is she? Good. Three days a week. Well, good, good, we'll have to see her back. That's right here on Main Street, here in downtown Pottville. I also want to thank uh, Citizens Tri-County Bank, Bilbury yes. Insurance, uh, go see Frank, Susan, and Sadie. Can't forget about Sadie. When I take brownies up there to her now, mm -hmm. I have to set them in the window and wave at her. <laughs> I know. I Can't know. even go in to get her brownies. <laughs> That's bad. Maybe, maybe they'll, they'll, I have a feeling they would let you in with the brownies though. <laughs> oh, no, I asked her. Oh, okay. She appreciated them nonetheless. And uh, Scotty's, they're they're open back up. That's good to see. But most of the businesses are open back up now. I don't know if most or not, but some have. Opened. Yeah. Uh, it looks like most to me. It looks like most of them are. Well, are the gas station. Morgan Brothers. Uh, they're they're. Seems like they're. Uh, Said just closed for a couple of weeks. They or, said they'd be closed down until the 16th of June. Okay. Yeah, that's Vicky's birthday. They'll have to open up on her birthday. Okay. Uh, well, glad to hear that. So they're coming back June 16th. So remember that, folks. Mag's Auto Sales, which uh, auto shops have been open yeah. uh, through it all. I'm Essential. Sure. Yeah, Essential. that's true. And Farm Bureau Insurance, go see Matt Massengale and his friendly staff down at Farm Bureau Insurance. They're right by Putnam Reed Funeral Home in South Pottville. Well, are they open? Farm Bureau. Uh, State Farm. You I'm not, I'll have to check and see. I'm not sure. I think they are. State Farm what now? Well, you can't you, go in. You can't you? go in. Yeah. Unless they are forewarned. Right. Somehow, you gotta tell them ahead of time. Maybe you can get the National Guard to open. <laughs> the loom is open. Uh, the loom is is open, aren't they? I'm coming they're, around you. They're working on the mask, buddy. Well, yeah, course, she's right, been doing that. She's been working on flowers right now for all the uh, cemeteries. Oh, yeah. The decorations at the cemeteries. That's right. But you know, they canceled one out here at Pikeville. I did not know that. They did canceled. Not know that. They didn't have a service, but okay. people still took flowers for their loved ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, at least they let them do that. But yeah. We're and Collier has their decoration this Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay, good we're, to know. Where Nanny. Good buried. to know. That's where a lot of our family is buried. And Al, Eddie Albert. Yeah, that's where Eddie's buried and Nanny. Um. All right, and also thanks to uh, Emma Boynton, Michael Walker, and Lisa Wheeler as well. Uh, thanks to all of our sponsors. And we've got some announcements today. There's several weeks where we didn't have any announcements at all. No. So uh, it's nice to see things pick back up, actually. Glad to see it. Uh, we got, this is for 
the Bledsoe County High School it says Bledsoe County High School on it blood assurance drive uh, it's Tuesday June the 9th 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, the blood mobile is going to be parked at First Southern Baptist Church I knew that <laughs> yeah we, we talked about this one and now if you want to schedule an appointment once again this will be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesday June 9th schedule an appointment see Patty Pentagrass with sign up sheet or call Patty Pentagrass at 447-6851 that's 447-6851 for more information it says to please eat a good meal drink additional water and avoid energy drinks and it also says to bring your ID donors will be given a BA lifesaver with front pocket t-shirt the donors will be entered in they'll be entered in a drawing for a big green egg plus accessories whatever that is I've never owned a big green egg <laughs> neither <laughs> I haven't either Papa on June the 20th uh, the Papa volunteer fire department is gonna have a dinner they'll be serving grilled chicken dinners that day from 4 to 7 p.m. At the fire hall proceeds will benefit the operations of the fire department you can eat in or take out for more info call 447-6222 it's 447-6222 and it's once again a grilled chicken dinner at the Popville volunteer fire department that's going to be on June the 20th that's right uh on the street where I live. Yeah, it's right next to you, Papa. I believe that'd make, that'd make a nice song on the street where you live. <laughs> There's a good song. You probably never heard. All you songwriters out there. I bet you've never heard. Oh, it. that is a song. No, ah, you didn't believe me. No, I've never heard. It. <laughs> you you ever heard it out? You want me to sing a few bars? <laughs> Maybe later. No, <laughs> no, I know you don't. I know you don't. Well, is it uh, trivia time or is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just okay. Time. All right, it's trivia time then. Are Let's you making ready? sure we don't have any Are more? Okay. Dads to granddads. What's the relation? Son, father, son. Sons. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I thought that might be tricky. It, yeah, it kind of was a little bit. Jellyfish <laughs> abode. Jellyfish abode. Abode. Where did they live? The ocean. In the ocean. Okay. Or the yeah, sea. Stingy. I wonder what the difference is in a sea and the ocean. I'm Same not water. really sure. Same water. Yeah. Got to be. Yeah, that's true. I don't know the answer to that. I don't. Well, do you? Think, you? you think I do? <laughs> Number three. <clears throat> a type of coffee, but not quite the same as real coffee. A cappuccino iced coffee oh that stuff's nasty it's it's not as fattening low or, fat or, coffee <laughs> not as fat no there's something else bad Lifeline. they've taken something out of it sugarless coffee De uh, decaf decaf coffee they okay took, oh they took the calories out that's what they took out and apparently the how do they do caffeine that too. no it's caffeine no yeah they calories. take caffeine out of calories <laughs> Well, I guess we'd call it decal coffee if it was the calories. Decal. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, never have, I don't know if I've ever tasted decal coffee. I don't think I want to. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good? It's not good. It's better to have the caffeine, evidently. I'm but you can sure. get caffeine in Cokes, can't you? Yes, yes, you can. That's where, I, that's where I'm getting mine. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, number four. Romeo's girlfriend. Juliet. Juliet. Who wrote yeah. that? Shakespeare. Boy, you're good. You're on a roll. <laughs> the merry, merry month of December. Oh, May. Merry, merry month of May. You didn't know that. I can tell. Uh -oh. That frown on your face. Uh, I did not know. <laughs> I thought everybody would know that. In the merry, merry month of May. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I've not heard that in a long time. Candy shape most popular form of candy being sold what is the shape of the candy that's candy most popularly Fine. sold candy bar candy bar candy bar so that's the most candy that is purchased is in bar form oh yeah 
Florida. And I don't know how many brands there are. Uh, Bonds. Or Bonds. Not necessarily brands. How many names brands put they all put out different candy bars. That's true. Mars is a company and they have a lot of candy bars. Yeah, yeah, Mars bars. <laughs> Mars bars. <laughs> a sharp shooting Annie. Oakley. Annie Oakley, she was a sharp shooter, buddy. Yep, yep, she was. A lady's title, but not shortened, the full name. Lady's title. Life on. Miss, miss, miss. Well, no. Uh, a person would say, to shorten it, you'd say, ma'am. Madam. Okay. Ma madam. Madam. That is giving a woman her respect. Oh, okay. That's due her. Right. But some of them might take women, offense to women it. Women are a whole lot it's prettier. something else, too. <laughs> women are a whole lot prettier than men. Okay. Brief bit of shut eye. A nap. A nap. <laughs> don't, don't, 15, 20 minutes. That'll, that'll be enough. Yeah. Find Use one of them blank. right now. A Nemo. Nemo. Find him Nemo. That's all I have. In okay, well, that was uh, all over the place, but it was good. <laughs> well, all over the place. I don't know where they're going to come from. <laughs> we never know. But now we're ready for He sports. never knows. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, let's, have, let's hear some sports of all sorts. That's the one thing yeah. we're waiting on to come back, which it's coming back, but it's not yet. So we we are very short on sports. Yeah. Except I've been able to elongate some of them. Yeah, you've had last, to get very you've had to get very creative with it. Last Friday, the Chattanooga Times reported that there would be no Boston Marathon. Wow. 124 years of the Boston Marathon being run has gone along as scheduled. Two world wars did not stop the Boston right, but this, Marathon. It's crazy. But this virus stopped it in its tracks. However, no those that. people that want to participate in a marathon, which is 26.2 mm -hmm. miles, mm -hmm. they may come and they may run and they'll get a medal. But okay. nobody will be number one and number two and number three. Okay. No recognition. Right. They'll just let you run if you want to run. Okay. But it's not sanctioned. Got you. No Boston Inside. Marathon. Okay. In football, the five power conferences that's the ACC the SEC the SEC the Pac-10 the mm -hmm. Big 12 and the Big 10 those are your five power conferences wouldn't the, the Pac-12 be in Pac-12 yeah did I not say Pac-12 mm -hmm. I thought you said the Big 12 I, I probably did that's yeah. the first mistake that's I ever one made of them too, yeah. but they have <laughs> urged Congress <laughs> this week to get the ball rolling on Me pay too. for athletes, but oh. it's not pay oh. for play. Mm -hmm. The athletes are not employees of the schools that they go to. No. But what they're wanting Congress to do is okay if that player can get paid from a third source not boosters, okay. not the university, but if some outside source wants to pay them for their likeness yeah. or for their name, mm -hmm. then they may take proceeds from that source that way. Okay. But no pay for play right. yet. Gotcha. I don't know what will happen in the future. I didn't realize that. Football, Tennessee style, last Saturday, mm -hmm. number 25 in recruiting inked their name. Number to 25 be one. overall. Cool. That's good. He is Trey Curry from Bradley. He from is Bradley, a, he, from Cleveland? Yeah, he's a number oh, four a number four star prospect. And he is—he uh, was chased by eight other SEC schools, oh, good. along with Virginia, and Virginia Tech, and Nebraska, and UTC, and I don't know who all wanted him. Yeah. But he's number twelve in the state of Tennessee. 
Number 12 in the number, state of Tennessee. He, he was the number 12 salt after athlete in the state of Tennessee. Well, that, that means Tennessee must have a lot of high recruits this year. Well, man, that's number 25. I, I'm, I'm still curious as to how many you can sign up. Yeah, we haven't really figured that out. I yet. was of the opinion that 25 was it, so we'll find out. Well, glad to see uh, a Tennessee boy stay in state. Yeah. But you know, the majority of our signees mm -hmm. have come from out of state. Yeah. The yeah, majority. All, yeah, it's always going to be more, but you like to get as many in state as you can. Well, you don't want to let them go to some other school and right. burn you later. Exactly. I've seen that happen a lot. But at the same time, I'm impressed by our far reaching efforts of our recruiting staff that they've been able yeah. to sign good players from we're, other. We're number what, two now? Number two. We're number two in the in nation. The country, yeah. About the recruits. So on paper, we're going to have a good team in the future. Definitely. On paper. That, that's great recruiting, actually. That this really week, is. This week, Auburn's former football coach, Pat Dye, died at age 80. I didn't know that. He was their coach from 81 to 92. Yeah, I remember him. He was a good coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, he led Auburn to four SEC titles. A lot of success. And he won 99 he? games while he was there as coach. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Auburn is, Buck Loomis used to tell me, it was the loveliest village on the plains, is the way he described it. The loveliest village on the plains. Loveliest village on the plains. And they're called the mm -hmm. Plainsmen. It's one of their names. Yeah. Auburn Tigers. Yeah. War Eagles, they have more than one. I've, I've heard it was pretty, uh, that Auburn was pretty. Before pretty Dye came on the scene, Auburn had only one SEC title in their whole history. Oh, well. He so he made, he made a big difference. He won. He turned, he's the one that turned them into a powerhouse then. Well, he was the first to win three SEC titles in a row. Oh, wow. Yeah. Our General Nealon repeated the feat of my winning three. Uh, Alabama's Paul Bear Bryant also won three in a row. Mm. They would have done that before Pat Dye, though. Uh, well, they were they were way before Pat Dye. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then Georgia's coach Vince Dooley won three in a row. Okay. Since then, mm -hmm. Florida's coach used to be Steve, Steve Spurrier. Spurrier. He won three in a row. And, of course, you've got to figure in Alabama's present coach. Oh, Nick Saban. Duh, yeah. Nick yeah. Saban. That's a no-brainer there. <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. Well, on Wednesday of this week, Johnny Majors died. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, Johnny Majors that. led the University of Tennessee to one Southeastern Conference football championship when he was a senior tailback in 1956. He won three more as the head coach, mm -hmm. and that was 85, 89, and 90. And he died at age 80. He was born in 1935. That's a familiar year. Seemed like that was when I was born. Okay. What What's weird about this? Didn't we just have a conversation about him like a week or two ago? And I was asking if he's still alive. Yeah. And you didn't know for sure. No. And then now I had not heard. But did we hear this two weeks later that he just passed away? He was the only two-time winner of the Southeastern Conference uh, Player of the Year. He okay. was the he only was a, player to do that twice in well, a row. He must have been one heck of a player too. He won 116 ball games in his career. Oh, as a coach. As a coach. Okay. As a and you, Lamar Alexander. Now you know who Lamar Alexander is. I do. He was from over here um, in Alcoa, somewhere over in there. Mm -hmm. And he says, as a teenager, I rode the White Star Lines bus from Maryville to Knoxville, and sold all my YouTube programs so that I could run in and see the ball game. Mm -hmm. I wanted to watch every play Johnny Majors made. He was the tailback. He ran the ball. He passed the ball. He kicked the ball. He did quick kicks. He did it all. <laughs> Back then, the the uh, single wing, that's the tailback did it all. 
Wow. So well, when he, he played, really good. when he played, he was Tennessee football. Yeah. And the major's family, Bobby, he had a brother named Bobby that played. Okay. Johnny had three athletic traits. He was, he had speed, he was quick, and he had otherworldly talents. They no. came from another world. Okay. They're I meaning he's they he was were, a great player. And he was and he would have won the Heisman Trophy in his senior year. But the quarterback of Notre Dame won the Heisman. His name was Paul Harning. And his oh. team had a losing record. But yet he Oh won. well he now had, that's that don't make any sense. That don't make sense. No. The great thing Very bad decision then. This one man, uh, his name is Charles Davis, he played for majors, and he has since risen to the ranks of being a success in broadcasting. And this is what he says of majors. Okay. He's every cliche that you want to talk about when you're talking about the giants of our game. You can't write SEC history without his name being a prominent part of it. I agree with as that. a player and as a coach. You'll never be able to say the word Tennessee without the name Majors coming up very quickly in your mind. He's Tennessee and Tennessee is him. I agree with that. Yeah. That's sports of all that's sports. A, that's sad. Johnny that's Majors. Sad. Johnny Majors, a, a he legend. He's from Huntland, Tennessee. All right. Well, uh, rest in peace, Johnny Majors. And that is it for sports of all sorts. Coming up after the break, it's some good old Albertology. That's coming up next right here on the Albert and Billy Show. Come right back. Welcome back to the Albert and Billy Show. Here on WUAT AM 1110 Radio and Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube. And it is time for Albertology, Papa. I've been chomping at the bit. I know it. I know it. what we're we talking about today. Well, one thing I forgot to bring up earlier, River Bend has been canceled this year. Mm. And they're going to change the format completely when they do open back up. Okay. But there will be no River Bend this year. Mm. But now that was not part of Albertology. That was just something yeah. I, I, that I should have gotten to earlier. I think they're going to have to make it either open back up or not. I think that's what a lot of people's gripe well, is. I'm sure, I'm sure it's it's going to be repeated time mm -hmm. and time again. We're it going already to has hear, been. Well, we're going to hear of different places, businesses mm -hmm. that have decided not to try again, not mm -hmm. to uh, yep. uh, enter back into the fray of the battle of making it or not making it. They're going to decide, mm -hmm. well, we're done with that this long. Let's just hang it up. Right. That's sad. But under Albertology. Yeah, oh well, we God. Did you know that Monop the Monopoly game? Now you've played Monopoly, mm -hmm. surely. Mm -hmm. You have played Monopoly. I, yes. I had to play it with all my children, and some of those games would last four hours. Yeah, and no, Monopoly can uh, go on and on. It really can. <laughs> but it was brought to Parker Brothers. They're the ones that manufactures it. Okay. In 1935. Really? That far back. Uh, by what? a man from uh, Pennsylvania. Uh huh. And uh, his name was Charles Darrow. And he okay. brought the game over to Parker Brothers and they produced it. And look where it's gone. I know. Okay. That's uh, one of your most famous board games ever. That's one of the points I've got. It is the world's best-selling board game. Not surprised at all. Over 200 million sets have been sold, and that's been 20 years ago. Gosh. But did you know that uh, all the names of the streets in the board game, mm -hmm. are they come from Atlantic City, no, New Jersey. I know They're I didn't know that. That's literally that's that's literally the <laughs> names of the streets that are there. No, no, definitely didn't know that. That's uh, interesting, Atlantic right there. City, I bet a lot of people didn't know that. No, did you know there's fifteen thousand one hundred forty dollars in the bank? No, didn't know that. Either. And if the bank runs out of money, 
Mm -hmm. The only thing they can do is write it on a piece of paper <laughs> yeah. and keep on going. That's right. <laughs> Did you know that? Uh, well, I told you it's the most famous board game in the world. Yeah. Okay. Not a surprise at all by that. It is. Uh, the viewer sets have been. Re uh, they've got different kinds of characters that move around the board, mm -hmm. and they've got uh, different kinds of Monopoly games than they used to have. Okay. It's, but some of it has maintained its own stature, uh, but a lot of it has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure if you bought a yeah. new, new yeah. set. You'd have to learn the rules. Well, I'm sure you go on around like you always did. Monopoly, yeah. The it's just mainly the look has changed. The look has the changed. look has changed, but the game is is still pretty much the same. Uh, still have four railroads. I think so. Yeah. Two utility yes. companies. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the most expensive place is Boardwalk. And yeah, the Boardwalk. That's what you want to get. Okay. Uh, I've got the thumbnail sketches of three more of the presidents. Okay. Number 32 was Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Okay. He was probably... We've talked about him on this show well, a time in, or two, not we? In all fairness to him and to his family, he was probably one of the most popular presidents we ever had mm -hmm. most popular and and most loved the day he died mm -hmm. I can remember my my grandmother Cagle cried really I can remember my grandmother cried wow. he, he died in 1945 I was 10 years old mm. all right wow. I didn't know that he, he was first selected in 33 and oh, he gosh. died in 1945 Dang. he was a Harvard graduate so he was mm -hmm. a smart man. Yeah. He was a governor and a lawyer. Mm hmm So he, he knew what he was doing. Uh, Definitely. Vice presidents, he had John Nance Garner was one. Mm hmm Henry Wallace was two. And Harry S. Truman was the third one. Gosh. Why so many? I don't know what happened. You got to admit, that's, uh, that's odd. There's that is never odd. heard of a president having three different vice presidents. He died on April the 12th, 1945. Mm -hmm. He was 63 years old. Oh, yeah. I remember saying that, that he, he was young when he died. That was. There are mm -hmm. two noteworthy events that occurred during his presidencies. Mm -hmm. He led the United States out of the Great Depression back in the 30s. That was huge. He came up with deals. Uh, he came up with programs that worked. Yeah. And what he was trying to do was put public money mm -hmm. into the hands of the people, the citizenry of the United States, yes. and then let them pay it back. Yeah. But let them use the money, and like the Homestead Act out here, that was the sweet plum that he had mm -hmm. of all the programs he came out with. And Fall, oh, yeah. Fall Creek Falls was built during that time. Mm -hmm. Fall Creek Falls, CC Road. Okay. The CC Corps is CCC was Civilian Conservation Corps. Right. And a lot of the people that now reside, their families reside in Bledsoe County, they mm -hmm. came here mm -hmm. because of the CCC Act that okay. he created. Didn't know that. Boy, I can tell you a whole lot. And he, uh, <laughs> and he led the United States through World War II. Right, that was his other huge accomplishment. Yeah, there. from 41 yeah. to 45, we were at war with the world. Yeah. And... Uh, he was the first and only president to be elected for a third term and no. a fourth term. No one else has been elected to a third term. No. But he was elected not only to three, but to four terms. Wow. I told you he was the most popular president that ever was. Yeah. So he must have died like right after his presidency. Well. Uh, each each time would be four years, 33 then, to 37, 37 to 41. And, well, yeah. no, he was on the tail end of it to be, he, in 45. Yeah. But anyway, uh, he was the seventh president to die in office. Okay, so he was still president when he died. Oh, yeah. He died in office. And his, his vice president took over. 
Harry S. Truman. Right, who became, I mean, he's a, that's a famous name too. Well, it will be Truman that will authorize this uh, atomic that's age. That's right, that's right. That's Polio right. hit him in 1921. Roosevelt, okay. Yeah. And by 29, he was governor of New York, even though he'd had polio. Wow. And uh, so he was governor of New York, and by not, by by 33, he was president of the United States. Dang. 1933. He was some more something. And what did he die of, does it say? No, it doesn't, but I'm sure some of the complications from polio. Polio, yeah. Because it was not a, a yeah. threat to him by, by terrorists or anything. Right. Okay, now Harry S. Truman is next because okay. he has to take his place. Exactly. He had no college. Oh, yeah. He was a farmer. Wow. And he was a judge, and mm -hmm. he became a senator. Mm -hmm. Then when he became vice president, that opened up the possibility of him being the president. A, the president. So he took over uh, at when President Roosevelt died. Uh, his his vice president was Al Allison Easterly or something. I can't. Remember. <laughs> I don't remember his, uh, who his uh, so, uh, vice Al president was. Allison. That's a strange uh, first name for a, a yeah. man. He okayed the atomic warfare to become part of our history, and yeah. uh, the first atomic bomb was dropped on August the sixth of forty five, mm -hmm. and the second was dropped on August the 9th, 1940. The first Three bomb, days later. The first bomb didn't bring Japan to their knees. Right, it was the second the one. the second one brought them to their knees. Japan surrendered then on the 14th day of August, yeah. 1945. World War II was over. Wow. But the Cold War began with communism. Okay. The 22nd Amendment to the Constitution mm -hmm. came about when he was president. And this amendment said that n from now on, no president can serve, can serve more than two terms. That, because of that? Because okay. Of him. The Korean War occurred during Harry S. Truman's term. Oh, that, well that was a big one too. The first nationwide TV broadcast in 1952 took place after Truman became president. Really? Harry S. Harry S. Truman. The yeah. S does not have a period after it. It is not a letter standing for a middle name. Mm -hmm. His parents named him Harry S. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, I tell I told that, that is crazy. I told that to kids at school. Mm -hmm. They didn't believe me. Yeah, I can see why they thought. They that never was. did believe me. <laughs> but the S is just part of his name. Yeah. Harry S. Truman. That's that's. It's so weird. In 1948, now this, listen to this. This really, ha I remember it. Okay. In 1948, the Chicago Daily Tribune printed their headlines. The election was between Truman running for president on his own mm. because he had taken Delano Roosevelt's place. Oh, oh, and yeah. And his opponent was Thomas Dewey, D-E-W-E-Y. Okay. The headlines for the Chicago Tribune, this is what it said. Dewey defeats Truman, and this was before the ballots were all counted, because whenever they went to press, Dewey was ahead, mm -hmm. and they declared him the winner. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a mistake, I take it. That was the most famous election upset in U.S. history. <laughs> Truman's win was a big surprise. Nobody expected him to beat Dewey. Oh, really? So but, Truman did, yeah, so Truman come back and won that, obviously. He won it, and uh, I think it's a good thing that he did. I think it's a good thing that he and they, did. And they didn't think he would he would win? No. Wow, I wonder why. Well, they thought he was riding the coattails of... Oh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay. Number 35, guess who that was? John F. Kennedy. Oh, okay. Very famous president. 61 to 63. Yeah, because he was assassinated. Yeah, with that, what's the poem was about. Okay. The poem we read about yeah. uh, Roosevelt Blaylock that he wrote. Uh-huh. That's what the poem was about, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Wow. He was a Harvard graduate. 
-hmm. he was an author and he was a congressman mm -hmm. he was a senator and he was a democrat mm -hmm. his vice president was lyndon johnson yeah and lyndon johnson will have to serve as president that's true that's true he only served two years and a few days mm -hmm. he was assassinated on november the 22nd 1963. gosh but, by uh who see uh, John Wilkes Booth killed uh, Lincoln. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't remember this man's name. Oswald was it? Who was it? Lee, yeah. Lee, uh, Harvey, Lee, Lee, Lee Harvey, Harvey Oswald. Yeah. The Peace Corps was created during uh, Kennedy's tenure. Mm -hmm. The first United States astronaut in space was Alan Shepard in 1961. Yeah. The Berlin Wall was built while he That's was president. That's a biggie there. He was the first Roman Catholic to ever be elected president. Okay. He was the fourth president to be assassinated while in office. Gosh. He was the eighth president to die in office. Mm. His assassination and events of the next four days were seen on TV by the largest mass audience in American history. I bet. The I things bet. that took place in the next eight days, mm -hmm. it was it was tremendous. I the bet. The response of people. That was chaotic. Sammy Davis Jr., you remember him? Yeah. Yeah. What, what was that? The Ford, Frank Sinatra and Peter, oh, Peter yeah. Lawford, uh, the, something, oh. some kind of pack. Crap, the Rat Pack. Rat Pack, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, he's one of them. So here's, he was in the Celebrity Cipher last week. Okay. Reality is never as bad as a nightmare as the mental tortures we inflict on ourselves. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good point, Deep actually. Point. Yeah. It's... Where did the money go during this pandemic no. I got this out of the paper this week. Got you. And this is just through the 15th day of May. Yeah. This is how Tennessee has spent money on its workers, on its patients, and on the emergency workers for this COVID-19. Okay. Here's where the money went. Face shields, $1,557,000. Gloves. Uh. Three million and fifty-four thousand dollars. Gowns, twenty-seven million and twenty-five thousand dollars. Respirator masks, oh. twenty-three million three hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars. Surgical masks, seventeen million two hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars. And on and on it goes. A total of ninety-three point fifty-one million dollars just through the fifteenth day of May. Here we are. This is the fifth day. And that, that's just for Tennessee. Yeah. That's just for Tennessee. That's crazy. Can you imagine nationally the numbers of that? Well, no. Because each state's you know spending that or and then some. I'm sure. Well. That's a high number. This week, Volkswagen. Now, Volkswagen came to Chattanooga nine years ago. Okay. And this week, ago. car number one million rolled off the assembly line. Really? Car number one million. Passat. For Volkswagen. Passat. Oh yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Well, I've got some Reader's that, Digest. And that happened this week? This week. One day I was reading the paper, and it might have been yesterday, the best I remember. Well, congratulations to Volkswagen then. All right, you know? I've, got a, <laughs> I've got to read a few of these, read, because Emily okay. brought, this, she brought me a new one this week. Thank you, Miss Emily. <laughs> I, I said her name. That's yes, the first time Emily, I'm, done. Emily, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to incriminate you. <laughs> It's usually me that says it. <laughs> this is another president, by the way, President Andrew Johnson. Oh, yeah. For his last public party while he was in the White House. Okay. He served his guest 1,400 pound wheel of cheese and it was gone within two hours. Good. How many people did he invite? 
Must have been a whole lot of people there. A wheel. A whole lot of hungry people. A wheel of cheese that weighed four. <laughs> I used to sell cheese in a round wheel. Yeah. And I kept it up on top of the meat counter. It was not refrigerated. Okay. And people could come up and take a nap and shave them off uh, a piece of that cheese. I bet they did. Too. And they did. They did. Okay. <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You do know about that. Say that again now. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. B I S. I think I've heard of it, yes. It's getting taller. In 1990, engineers closed the 185 foot white marble building okay. for a decade to make it struck to make structural adjustments that corrected the lean because it was called the leaning yeah and they corrected it by 17 inches but recently the Italian government announced that the tower had recovered 1.57 more inches largely on its own <laughs> so Hidden. I don't know how that no, how that's could crazy. that tower move I don't I don't get that now I don't but get I've that at often all. heard of the Leaning Tower. Yeah. Patricia went to Paris. She saw the Leaning Tower. Yeah. Okay. She went to. She went well, to. Well, sure, she saw the Eiffel Tower as uh, well. Then. Yeah. If you want to know what it's like to owe a loan shark, borrow five dollars from a ten-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let you. They won't let you forget. We had recently That's installed right. a cat door in the back door of our house. Okay. But our four kitties couldn't figure out how to use it. <laughs> but late one night I heard a loud crunching and wondered which of the cats was eating at that hour. I got up to check and there was a large possum by the cat door. Oh, God. He had come into the house through the cat door. When I startled him, the cats watched him leave, and by golly, they finally figured out how to use the cat door. Thank you, Mr. Possum. <laughs> a possum in your house eating cat food. I don't, I don't want a house cat. That's I don't want funny. a house dog. I don't want a house dog. Definitely don't want a house possum. <laughs> no, you don't want a house possum. Don't be scared if you don't do things in the right order. I didn't think I'd have dessert before breakfast today, but hey, it turned out that way and I wouldn't change a thing. Dessert before breakfast. Ain't no way. That's good. That's now, good. vacation Bible school is a phrase that gets less exciting for kids as each word is introduced. Vacation, yeah. I'm all happy with that. Yeah. Bible, if I'm a kid, I don't want that too much. Right, right. But school, I sure don't no. want it. So vacation no. Bible school is hard for a kid to take. <laughs> yeah. That is like the first part of it. Right. The smell of my childhood. The I remember the coffee on my mother's breath as she kissed me goodbye as I went to school. Mowed grass is what I remember from my childhood. Yeah. Burning leaves, barbecue smoke, mm. dad's old spice, yeah. juicy fruit gum. When, yeah. When uh, I could smell the juicy fruit gum when my grandmother opened her purse. Oh, that, that's a good smell too. I love juicy Freshly fruit. Freshly mowed grass. I can uh, remember that. I'll tell you, I didn't like to mow the grass. No. No. Well. Just like to look at it. <laughs> I like to see the After yard. somebody else does. I like to see the yard mowed. Right. A friend took her son to the doctor's office after he sprained his finger. The nurse he applied a splint, finger. only to be told she had put it on the wrong finger. Oh, I'm so sorry, she said. <laughs> The friend's son said, well, that's okay. You were only off by one digit. <laughs> wow. only, only by one digit. <laughs> wow. You can't get hung up on age or beauty because then you're always chasing after something you'll never get back. Right. <laughs> Tina Turner said that. Okay, well. The earth has its boundaries, but human stupidity is infinite. <laughs> I'm going to do some of mine now. <laughs> All right, let's hear them. 
this is more from Mr. McBay's newspaper that he brought from McMinnville. Yes, we've been enjoying that, Don. Thank you, uh, thank it, you, Don McBay. These have been sweet. I'm telling you. Let me see if I can find uh, the ones that haven't been used yet. Uh, the ones last time were really good. I remember those. Let me mm -hmm. see. But last, okay. last week's uh, you radio know, show. You know she's a bad secretary because your customers come around only during her lunch period. They peek around the door say, is the coast clear? <laughs> that's not that's not a good secretary. When she, no. get, when she gets low on typing paper, she asks you what to do. You tell her to use copy paper. So then she takes a blank piece of typing paper, puts it in the copy machine, and makes 10 copies. <laughs> she, listen to this, she rolls her hosiery. I've seen girls do this, women. She rolls her hosiery to just below the knee and keeps it there by tying it in a knot. I've seen that. The Ringling, wow. Brothers, the Ringling Brothers call it Clown College announces she's won a prize for her original makeup. <laughs> Clown College. She tries to fax chocolate chip cookies to her daughter in college. <laughs> that would be some more fax machine. She, she must be the world's worst secretary. She's a bad secretary. She staples her thumbs together more frequently than once a week. She can type 60 words a minute, but not in English. <laughs> Lastly, she wears white out for nail polish. <laughs> if I had a secretary like that, I believe I'd be putting an ad to paper for another secretary. You're doing right. I doubt she lasted long with that job. Probably not too long. Probably not. Probably not. I would hope not. All right. Boy, uh, that one last week about the three bullets, that was something else. Yeah, you know, you should uh, tell that one again. You want me to? Yeah, you should, because uh, we, we didn't say it last week. That was just on the radio, so. There once was a man who had nothing for his family to eat. <laughs> he had an old rifle and three bullets so he decided he would go hunting and kill some wild game for dinner <laughs> so he went down the road he saw a rabbit yeah he shot at the rabbit and missed it only two bullets left the rabbit ran away then he saw a squirrel and fired a shot at the squirrel and missed, missed it. it yeah now he has one bullet left <laughs> so he went a little the pressure further is on he went a little further and he saw a large wild tom turkey up in a tree, but he had only one bullet. Yeah. A voice spoke to him and said, oh, yeah. pray first, <laughs> aim high, yeah. and stay focused. Yep. <laughs> However, at the same time, he saw a deer, which was a better kill. He so brought the gun the down and aimed at the deer. <laughs> But then he saw a rattlesnake between his feet oh, yeah. about to bite him. So he naturally brought the gun down further to shoot the rattlesnake. <laughs> but the voice said, aim high, mm -hmm. stay focused, and pray. <laughs> so the man decided to listen to God's voice. He yeah. prayed, then aimed the gun high up in the tree and shot the turkey. Yep. The bullet bounced off the turkey and killed the deer. The handle fell off the gun and hit the snake in the head and killed it. And when the gun went off, it knocked him into a pond. When he stood up to look around, he had a fish in all of his pockets, a dead deer and a turkey to eat for his family. The snake, which was Satan, was dead simply because the man listened to God. That's right. That's right. Moral of the story, pray first before you do anything. Aim and shoot high in your no. goals and stay focused on God. That's good advice. Actually. Never let others discourage you concerning your past. The past is past. Leave That's it true. alone. 
live every day one day at a time and remember that only God knows our future and that he will not put you through any more than you can bear do not look to man for your blessings but look to the doors that only he has prepared in advance for you to in your favor wait be still and patient mm -hmm. keep God first and everything else will follow don't worry about tomorrow God's already there that's that's right strange page one of my friends works in the customer <laughs> service call center of a national pager company there he deals with the usual complaints regarding poor pager operation as mm -hmm. well as the occasional crank caller demanding to be paged less and are <laughs> by more interesting people <laughs> so the best call came from Bubba oh, who yeah. repeatedly complained that he was being paged by Lucille he was instructed that he would have to call her and tell her to stop paging him <laughs> She don't ever leave no number, so I can't call her back, he right. said. After three such calls, someone thought to ask how he knew it was Lucille. Exactly. If she didn't leave a number. Exactly. Well, after establishing that the customer had a numeric only pager, the light bulb came on. <laughs> how does she spell her name? <laughs> he said L-O-W-C-E-L-L. -L low sales <laughs> another technical problem solved <laughs> one more one more sounds good <laughs> a, a, a young man who was also an avid golfer found mm -hmm. himself with a few hours to spare one afternoon so he figured he would hurry up and play a little bit of golf he could get in nine holes before he had to head home just as he was about to tee off, an old gentleman shuffled onto the tee and said, Do you mind if I accompany you on this round, young man? And not being able to say no, I mm -hmm. allowed the old man to join. To his surprise, the old man played pretty quickly. He didn't hit the ball far, but plodded along consistently and didn't waste much time. They right. reached the ninth fairway. Oh, yeah. and the young man found himself with a tough shot there was a large <laughs> pine tree right in front of his ball directly right. between his ball and the green right after several minutes of debating how to hit the shot the old man finally said you know when I was your age I'd hit the ball right over that tree <laughs> well with that challenge the youngster swung hard and hit the ball right smack into the top of that tree yeah and the ball thudded back to the ground about a foot from where he left the old man said well of course when i was your age that pine tree was just three feet tall <laughs> that's an important piece of information that was uh missing wasn't it yeah good thing you told him that but it's too late i know well, uh, those were good, Papa. And once again, thank you to Don McBay for uh, supplying us with all these jokes for the Haven't time they being. they been enjoyable? Yeah, they really have been. So thank you, Don. We appreciate it. And we appreciate you guys listening to us on WUAT AM 1110. We appreciate you guys watching us on Channel 18 Valley TV and on YouTube. And join us next time for another all-new episode of the Albert and Billy Show. So See long, folks. See you later, folks.